Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll solve solve a problem dealing with the concept of weighted average. Dealing with the concept of weighted average. Problem as you can see it's already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says the average score, AVE is an abbreviation for average, average score for boys in the class was 25. And a give, a, an exam was given, a test was given, and it turns out that the average score of the boys was 25. Average score of the girls, we are further told, is 35. Furthermore, we are told there are more than twice as many boys. There are more than twice as many boys as girls. In other words, if there are 10 girls, there has to be at least 21 boys because there are more than twice as many boys as girls. That's the condition we have to fulfill. Based on this, uh, this, uh, this criteria, what's the simple is, which of the following could be the overall, which of the, which of the, which of the following could be the overall average score? Which of the following could be the overall average score? And they go on to tell us pick one or more. They are the other choices. 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 36. If you want to, if you want to give it a try, go ahead, pause the video, and do the problem, and then unpause the video, and then compare your work against the work that we'll do together. We're about to start. I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video if you want to give it a shot first, first yourself. Let's begin. Let's begin. What we need to understand is that when we're talking about the averages, this this question basically essentially deals with conceptual uh, conceptual elements, conceptual aspects of average. We don't actually have to do anything. We'll see in a second that we don't have to solve anything at all. As a matter of fact, uh, if you understand this question, you can solve this problem just by visual inspection without even picking up the pen. What we need to understand is that when we take in the averages of a whole bunch of number, listen very carefully, I'm not going to write it on the blackboard, so listen carefully and, uh, and, and, and take notes if you want to. If you take in the average of a whole bunch of numbers, the average, the average can never ever be lower than the lowest number in the group, and it can never ever be higher than the highest number in the group. So since we are told that the average score of the boy is 25, Every score of the boys 25 is same as saying the total number of points that the boys are going to earn, the total number of points that the boys are going to earn, which is the number of boys times 25, which is the same amount as if you were to assign each of the boys 25. Let's pretend each of the boys scores 25. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, and so on and so forth and then whole bunch of 35. Let's say we have, we have two girls here. We have a whole bunch of boys. As you can see, there are more than twice as many boys as girls. And the total number of points, one more time, the total number of points the boys are going to earn is simply going to be the number of boys times 25, which is the same quantity as if you were to assume that each one of them scored 25. Same thing here. The average score of the girl is 35, which means the total number of points that they earn is number of girls times 35, easiest way of making sure that, that their total points that they earn comes out to be exactly that amount is to make each of the girls 35. We can clearly see in this scenario, average cannot be lower than 25. Average also cannot be higher than 35. It is impossible if the average score of the boys is 25 and the average score of the girl is 35, the overall average, the overall average cannot possibly be below 25. It is impossible for the overall average score to be below 25. 24 makes no sense. Similarly, overall our, our, our average score cannot be above 35. Cannot be above 35. It's impossible. So that's the starting point. Another thing, another thing that we have to understand is that if we have the same number of boys as girls, let's, let's start out with a simple scenario with one boy, one boy, and one girl. Let's say one boy scored 25, and there you go. In this scenario, if you have one boy and one girl, one boy and one girl, Because 
one boy and one girl. In this case, the average score of boys is 25, the average score of girls is 25 because there's only one girl. What's the average here? The average is going to be average, average is going to be the middle number, which is 30. But the fact that we are told, the fact that we are told that there are more than twice as many boys, there are more than twice as many boys as there are girls. There is not one boy, one girl. There are more than twice as many boys. This, even this is not enough because this scenario 25, 25, and 30 tells us that there are twice as many boys. In fact, we have more than twice as many boys. So if you were to if you were to have only one girl, then at the very minimum we need three boys because there are more than twice as many boys. As you can see, as you keep adding 25s here, what, what happens to the overall average? Overall average of 25 and 30, 35, overall average of 25 and 35 was 30, but as you add more 25s to it, what happens? Do the boys pull the average up or do they pull the average down? Of course they are pulling the average down because each boy that you add is lower than the average of 25 and 30. So more boys you have, the average is going to go down. The overall average in this scenario, given the fact that there are more than twice as many boys, the overall average in this scenario cannot be 30, it cannot be anything above 30. It cannot be 30, it cannot be anything above 30. These are impossible. I'm going to do it with different colors so you can see it. These are impossible. There you go. You're done. The problem is done. The overall average, it is possible for overall average to be 26 or 28. It is not possible for it to be, first of all, it cannot be 24 and 36 because they are outside the range. It has to be somewhere between 25 and 35. The average cannot be lower than the lowest number in the, in the group. It cannot be higher than the highest number in the group. Another thing we have to understand is that there were in fact exactly twice as many boys. And, uh, uh, rather, if there were in fact same number of boys as girls, given the fact that the boys, average, boys scored on average 25 points and the girls on average scored 35 points, if there were in fact same number of boys as girls, in that case the average would have been exactly the middle number which is 30. But because there are twice as many, because there are more than twice as many boys as girls, they pull the average down. That tells us the average cannot be 30, it cannot be anything above 30. The answer is this. Another way we could have looked at it, another way we could have looked at it is by making up a simple scenario. Let's make up a simple scenario. So here's, 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 let's make up a simple scenario. Let's make up a simple scenario where we have two boys and one girl. So boys is scored 25 points, 25 points, 35 points. As you can see, the average score of boys is 25, average score of the girls is 25. Let's see what's, what the what, let's see what the overall average is going to be in this scenario. 25, 25 plus 35 over 3. 25 plus 25 plus 25 would have been 75. We have 35, so it's 85. 85, 85 over 3. Let's see what that is, shall we? If you divide 85 by 3, if it, 8 has how many trees? 8 has two trees. 8 has two trees. 2, 3 is a 6. After we take away 6 from the 8, we have a remainder of, we have a remainder of 2. 2 goes and joins the 5 and becomes 25. And 25 has how many 3s? 25 has 8 3s. 8 3s are 25 with a remainder of 1. That 1 needs to be divided by 3. So in this case, listen very carefully, in this case, if there were in fact, if there were in fact exactly twice as many boys as girls, the average score in that case would have been 20, 28 and a third. You with me so far? 28 and a third. Because of the fact that we have more than twice as many, it has to be lower than 28 and a third. It, oh, we actually I just realized that the, the work that we had done so far, if we had stopped at that point, if we had stopped at that point, we would have gotten a wrong answer. Oh no, it, no, this it is correct. This is correct. It, this tells us that there were if there were exactly twice as many boys as girls, in that case, average would have been 28 and a third. But because we are told that there are twice, there are more than twice as many boys as there are girls, whatever the average is, it has to be below 28 and a third. Anything below 28 and a third would work, and anything below 25 you have to cross out. So it has to be above 25 and below 28 and a third. It has to be above 25, we cross out 24, and it has to be below 28 and a third, which rules out all of this thing, which leaves us B and C. That's it. But this was more complicated work. We don't have to do this thing. We simply have to understand that the average cannot be below 25. It cannot be above 35. And if there were exact number of exact, if there were exactly the same number of boys and girls, in that case, the average would have been 30. But because we have more than twice as many boys as girls, 
average cannot be 30 or anything above 30. At that point, you cross out 30, 32, and 34, you only left with 26 and 28. That's it, you're done. Let's, let's continue with this problem. I'm going to give you part B now. This was part A. This was part A. Now, as far as the book is concerned, this problem, I want you to compare this problem as we just did with the problem that you see on page number 122, problem number 3. Problem number 3. Turn, turn to your book. It's important that you own the book. You must have the book, otherwise you will have difficulty preparing for the exam. There is no such thing as preparation for GRE without this book, with, without the official study guide. Turn to page number 122, problem number 3, and compare the problem as it appears, as it is, uh, as it is phrased in the book, and as we put it on the blackboard, it's the same problem, worded a little bit differently. As far as the book is concerned, this is all they ask. We're going to do part B and part C, which is not in the book. So here we go, part B. We need the rule, obviously, I'm going to raise it. It's a continuation, you understand? All the conditions apply. All the conditions apply. Here's the part B. Now that we have established, now that we have established that the average, it is possible for average to be 26, and it is possible for average to be 28, here's the next question. What needs to be, what needs to be the, the exact ratio, the exact ratio of boys to girls in order for the overall average to be 28, which is which is this part right here, 28 C. Let's find out, shall we? What needs to be the exact ratio of boys to girls? Because we are claiming, we are claiming here that it is possible for all or average to be either 26 or 28, given the conditions that the boys scored on average 25 points given the conditions that the girls on average score 35 points and given the conditions that there are more than twice as many boys as there are girls. Given these three conditions, we are claiming that in that scenario it is possible for the overall score to be 26, it is possible for overall average score in the class to be 28. The question is, what needs to be the exact ratio in order, to, in order for it to be 26? Let's find out, shall we? Here's the solution. Let, let W be the number of boys for each one girl. Let W be the number of boys for each one girl. In other words, we're going to find out the weights that we're going to assign to, to boys. If there is one girl, what weight should be assigned to the boys? For example, after we do the solution, after we do after we do the work, and we find out that the W happens to be W happens to be three, what does it tell you? It tells you that there are three there are three boys for every one girl. On the other hand, we do all the work, and it turns out that W happens to be three seven. What is what what would that tell you? It will tell you that for every three boys, there would have to be seven girls. For every three boys, there has to be seven girls, which is impossible in our case because we are told that there are more than twice as many boys. Is it possible for, for the W to now to be 13 over 7? The answer is no. 13 over 7 is also not possible because 13 over 7 is less than 2. There has to be more in our, pro I erased it, the, the problem tells us there are more than twice as many boys. It is possible, it is possible after we do all the work for it to be turn out to be, for it to turn out 15 over 7. What this tells us is that for every 7 girls, there are 15 boys. Let's find out what the W needs to be. What needs to be the exact ratio? What 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 weight to be assigned to the boys in order for our lower average to have the to have, uh, for in order for our lower average to be this magic number of 28? Let's begin, shall we? So we have W boys for each one girl. If there are W boys for each one girl and the boys score an average 25 points, and there are W boys, then W times 25 is the total number of points earned by the boys. Similarly, the average number of score, average score for the girl is 35, and there is only one girl. Because W, one more time, because W is the number of boys for each one girl. So each one girl, one girl, 
W boys. So total number of students that we have is W boys and one girl. This represents the average score for the class and we want that to be precisely 28. Let's continue. We're almost done. So 25W, 25W plus 35 has to equal 28W. If you were to cross multiply, 28W plus 28 and we're done. Bring, bring 25W to there, we get 3W, 3W equals, bring, bring 25W there and bring 28 here, 35 minus 28 is 7, oh Jesus, it's, it is, oh I said 3, 7, it turns out it's 7 third. As we said before, it is impossible for W to be 3 7 because we cannot have 3 boys for each, for, seven, for, seven, for each 7 girls, because it has to be more than twice as many boys, which is exactly what we found, we just found that in order for our roll average to be 28, we need to have 7 boys and 3 girls. For every 7 boys, or rather for every 3 girls in the class, there are 7 boys. If you like, you can verify this thing. It's very easy. It's not that difficult to verify it. Let's verify it. Let's verify it. Where can we verify it? I left no room for verification. I should, I should have had the forethought. Let's verify it. Tell you what, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to continue this part of the equation here. 28W plus 28. 28W plus 28 and we can erase this part. There we go. And this this quantity has to be the overall average which was 28. I'm going to erase this part. Let's verify it here, shall we? So we are saying that there are seven boys for every three girls. Seven boys with the average score of 25 and three girls with the average score of 35. Average score of 35. How many students do we have? Well, we have 10 students in this scenario, 7 boys and 3 girls. The ratio is 7 to 3. The ratio is the boys to girls. This represents, the, this, this W represents, this W represents the ratio of boys to girls. And we just found out that that ratio is 7 to 3. So we have 7 boys for every 3 girls, which means we have 10 students. We are almost done. 7 times 25, I don't know what 7 times 25, but I do know what 825s are. Excuse me. Eight twenty five is at 200, because I know 425, so I know my 425, I can multiply 4 times 25, that I can do. 425 is 100, 825s are 200, 725 must be 175. But well, let's pretend this is also 25, in which case we have 725 and one more 25, that would have been 200, but it's not 25, it's 35. Oh, actually, it's not just one, it's three of them. Yeah, we can. I thought it was just 135, in case I was going to add 175 and then 25 and then add another 10, but there are three of them, we have to do it out. So this is 175. And how much are 335s? Again, I don't know what 335s are, I know 330s are 90. 330s are 90. And 35s I know are 15. So if you have 3 5s which makes 15 and 330s which make 90, 90 plus 15 is 105. Over 10. Let's see what we find. 175 plus 5 is 180 plus 100 is 280. 280 divided by 10, what do you know? It turns out that in this scenario, if we had seven boys in the class for every three girls, let's put these ratios in a different color because that's what we want to emphasize here. If we had seven boys in the class for every three girls, and at the bottom, instead of putting 10 here, let's emphasize that this 10 actually comes from seven boys and three girls. That's where, that's where this number of students is. Seven boys and three girls. That in that scenario, and if the average score of the boys happens to be 25, and average score of the girl happens to be 35, then in that scenario, the overall average is going to be exactly 28, which is ideal. Again, what I want you to do now, after, after, we, after I put down part C here, is to do the part C yourself. It's very simple, as you can see, so we follow the same pattern. Part C, question is, what needs to be the exact ratio of boys to girls in order for overall average score to be 26? To be 26. Go ahead and do it yourself. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Pause the video, do it yourself, and then we'll do it, we'll do it together. Yeah. 
Oh, let's do this together. So again, let W be the number of boys for each girl. If there are W boys for each one girl, then 25 plus W plus 35 times 1, 25 times W, this is the number of boys, and 35 times 1 divided by the number of two kids in the class, which is W boys and one girl, has to equal 26. Has to equal 26. I'm going to pick up from here. Has to equal 26. Let's cross multiply. We get 26w plus 26 has to equal 25w plus 35. This is very simple, very straightforward. 26w and 25w bring the 25w here, which gives you the w is equal to 35 minus 26. Well, what do you know? 9. Oh, this was very simple. There has to be 9 boys. Again, this w, this w that we just found, it happens to be 9, which tells us the ratio of boys to girls, ratio of boys to girls is 9 to 1. The ratio of boys to girls is 9 to 1. There has to be 9 boys for every one girl if you want overall score to be 26 given the fact that the boys scored 25 and the girls scored 35. And again, we can verify this thing very easily. Verification is right here, we can continue here. So we have, we have 9 boys in this scenario, not 7. So our weights are going to change. We have 9 and 1, 9 and 1, and 10 is going to remain 10, and we are going to have new calculation here, and let's see what happens. So our weights are going to be 9 boys, 9 boys for every 1 girl, 9 boys and 1 girl. Let's see what we can find. So how, how much is this quantity? 9 times 25 plus 1 times 35. Let's pretend, let's pretend that's 35 for the time being, for the time being pretend that 35 is 25. In that case, if this if this were 25, if this quantity were 25, hy hypothetically speaking, that is, it's not, it's 35. If it were 25, then 125 and 925 would have been 1025, and 1025s are 250. But it's not 25, it is actually 35. So instead of 250, it's going to be 260. Oh, we just did it, the whole thing. It's 260. 260 divided by 10, of course, comes out to be 26. Our old score is going to be, our old average score is going to be 26 if you had exactly nine boys for every one girl. Before I close the video and before I complete, completely forget it, I want you to read, I'm going to make a note of it, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to say it, I'm going to actually read uh, right here so that you can... At this point, after we finish all the work, I would like you to read... The very bottom, read... The very bottom, the last line of page 122 of the book. On the very last line of page 122 of the book, they actually tell you what the magic ratio needs to be in order for the overall or which average score to be 26 in order for the overall average score to be, 20, to be 28, but they don't tell you how they arrived at it. They don't show the work, they don't tell you how to do it. They just simply throw at you that this needs to be the, uh, 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 the magic ratio as if it just fell from the sky. Well, we know how because we did it together here. This is how. Read the bottom of the page and you will see that in one scenario, the average, average was seven to three in the first scenario when, the, when its overall score is 28. And the book goes on to tell you that in order for it to be overall average score to be 26, the magic ratio needs to be 9 to 1. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.